and still in the nation's capital. A group of protesters, the natives, has warned the presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party and Labour Party against what it calls intimidation of the judiciary and the Independent National Electoral Commission over their grievances regarding the recently conducted presidential election. Abida Lawal has more on this. Given the central role that governance plays in Africa, the stakes from these elections were high, not just for democracy, but for stability and development. In Nigeria, both the PDP and the Labour Party are challenging the outcomes of the election, and while it has not resulted in violence, it's cast a pall on what is the biggest polls in Africa. Some groups are not happy at what they tag as the intimidation of INEC and judiciary. It is why this group, the natives, have rallied together in a thank you walk to the presidential villa in Abuja. The natives come out in their numbers and declare that the supporters of APC and the president-elect Bola Mechinubu will no longer take lightly the intimidation by the supporters of Peter Obi and supporters of Atiku Abubakar. The purpose of this solidarity, solidarity, solidarity is to turn President Muhammad Dubwani. Now, sir, they called him Jubri. He was patient. They said he was dead. He was patient. They said it didn't matter. He was patient. They called him a manner of names. He was patient. Now, so I want to inform. Inform. The PDP once told us there is something called do or die. Another one told us that if it is not him, Nigeria will born. Another one contested and went to the Supreme Court three times. Let it be said clearly that no one Nigerian in this country is above everybody. Right. So, only one Nigerian cannot make a president. No man in this country can win election as president without partnership. The Igbokwenu for Chinubu Shetima group also alleged there were voters intimidation in the southeast during the election and if taken up, so many irregularities will be uncovered. At my hometown, some persons who believe in me accepted to vote for my candidate, but to my amazement, they were called to order by my parish priest who threatened them that they will be mandated to come for confession after the election and if found guilty for not doing as instructed for vote, voting Obi, they will be denied Holy Communion. That to me is, on, is against the law of right to freedom of association, which is a fundamental right. Community people and parish priests share fiduciary relationship, which gave them the unwarranted opportunity to take undue advantage of these people. At my unit, it was disheartening to experience the intimidating manner in which they were forcing the women especially to vote their choice as instructed against their will. We threat to report them to the parish priest should they fail to adhere as instructed. The group urged both parties and their candidates to take up their grievances against the result as declared by the INEC in court instead of threatening the peace of the nation and her democratic process. They also appeal for cooperation from all Nigerians to move Nigeria forward as they believe the president-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu should be given a chance to reset the country in a way that will benefit all and sundry.